homosexuality or, you know, sex out of marriage. You're seeing people, you know, just because they're, for those who touch, uh, 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 abstinence. It means Hi guys, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming and welcome to Walking in Divine Purpose. I am here. And for today, guess what? Another mind-blowing video I am talking about. I can't believe what this pastor, you know, well, what Mr. Bryant is saying. We almost use me here <laughs> because of confusion, right? So I'm not going to be for long. But I, am, I, I found another channel, yeah, on YouTube. Hi, Monique and Mr. Henry. Let me greet husband first. Hi, Mr. Henry, if you should ever come on this video. You guys can go over there to check out their channel. I will recommend them because I like what I'm seeing. I'm new to them as well. And let me tell you, Mr. Because I'm not going to say pastor. It's not disrespectful. The Bible said by, you know, you should know that Mr. Bryant, don't apologize on my behalf. Please don't apologize. I am in no way, shape and form sitting with you with the lbgt community why i say that because a lot of people don't understand that um huh, homosexuality can never be right it's not I, I i can't even anyways let me not waste any more time because monique she was pretty quick on it and i'm going to be pretty quick as well but i'm saying kudos to these um youtubers who are giving the undiluted word of god because god does not change he stands for holiness and guess Still what pastors past Oh, leaders, bishop, sorry, bishop, who is speaking up. He said, don't, don't, um, don't apologize on my behalf. <laughs> and I'm saying the same. Don't apologize on my behalf. I love everyone, but I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be in, in agreement to what you're doing or condole or agree with your fetish nasty dirty fantasy so with no further ado let's go straight into the video thank you very much for coming in and blessings and love y'all listen to bishop patrick talk about jamal bryant uh, pastor jamal bryant and uh he went and visited a lbgtq affirming church that is an oxymoronic statement, if there has ever been one. There are no teachings of Christ that endorses homosexuality, lesbianism, transgenderism, or any of those things. So then how can you be an LBGTQ church? So he goes to that gathering place. Uh, he said that he wanted to apologize on behalf of pastors who may have hurt them. I am here because the black church owes this community an apology. And uh, I wanted to come tonight uh, not just uh, as pastor of New Birth. I wanted to come for the pastors who have hurt you. It's not right there, I'm seeing enough. The, the zebra color coat and the next guy, I guess they're married to each other. And so he's down there apologizing on behalf of pastors. You do not speak for me. You do not speak for us. something wrong with Atlanta. Every, every, just, Lord have mercy. Something wrong. It, we got to pray against that principality that's set over that city. And, uh, and you young men, I hope you saw how them young sister boys were shouting. So you know not to shout like that. Lest I come and correct you in the middle of your dance. Hold it. Let me show you how to shout right. Y'all don't like me today. I hope you got your shouting shoes on because I'm in agreement with him. I don't know about y'all, but I'm in total agreement with him. He said nothing wrong here. But keep listening. Um, not only that, but show where he 
teaches another gospel. Stuff that was applicable for your grandmother means nothing to you. For me to tell 16 year olds to be celibate is one thing. A 37 year old who's used to getting some, I need a different kind of gospel. All right, stop so the right church there. Ain't Just stop right there. Now, right there. For the first lie he told was that what was true for one generation is not true for another. When the Bible says God's truth endureth to all generations. Number one, God's truth. Psalms 100 and verse 5, the last clause, endureth to all generations. So what was true yesterday is true today. Now, I do give him credit for telling the truth in it. He said, that's another gospel. Now, let's give, let's give him a hand, because that's true. Because that ain't the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's some made up junk. And Paul said that, that if they come any other way with another gospel, Paul said it is not the gospel. The, the true gospel teaches everybody to live holy, to live right. He has a tremendous con uh, congregation who amens all that stuff. Same preacher who said his church uh, will grow, will use the property to grow cannabis. These things we can't unite under. You can't say, well, he's a brother and I'm a brother, man, and two brothers all to work together. Come with brothers, brother. Come on, brother, man. Brother, nothing. We're not brothers in that regard. No, no, ain't no kin to you at all. We ain't got nothing in common. Not at all. Because that's not right. This is the same preacher one Sunday while preaching in favor of a woman's right to choose. On that same Sunday, they had a, ch a christening, a child dedicating service. And people brought their children up to be dedicated by that preacher. But the preacher just got through preaching in favor of abortion. You going to let those hands dedicate your child? See, it's things like this that you don't want to have to deal with. But here's the problem for those who are not pastors. And I don't know what it's like when it comes to you. But when you are a leader, for the leader to say nothing, indifference is an endorsement. The assumption is if we don't say anything about it, then we go along with it. Well, I don't want nobody to misunderstand, misunderstand Patrick Wooden. Patrick Wooden doesn't go along with that at all because it's not Bible. Even though... God is calling for unity in the body, but you can't just have unity. It has to be unity built on truth. Jamal Bryant got his priorities wrong. So wrong. Because he should have been focused on his own original family. I'm so tired, you know, coming into this video. I am so, so tired. But I said I have to. And you guys heard it for yourself in the church. How is it that homosexuality or, you know, sex out of marriage, you're seeing people, you know, just because they're, for those who touch, uh, 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 abstinence, it means not having sex. And where in the Bible tells you that it's okay for you to indulge, no matter, so don't tell the people them about that. Mr. Bryant, I'm praying for you. Guys, help me to pray for them. There is such thing as righteous judgment. Let's go and look at what 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 11 said. And let me read. All right. But now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator or a covetous or an idolater or a railer or a drunkard or an extortioner, with such an one not to eat.
but for what I have to do to judge them also, what are without, do not ye judge them that are within. So therefore, you might be saying that we need, the church might need to clean up. Let me tell you this. Um, pa, Mr. Bryant is not um, a brother of the kingdom. So there, the Bible said by the fruit, you shall know them. He's not a brother of the kingdom. So therefore, I cannot call him or, you know, I agree with what Bishop Wood is saying. Um, Bishop, yeah, I'm agreeing with what Bishop Wood is saying that you cannot don't apologize for me because the bible jesus christ did not preach on the okay for open up for homosexuality we are not coming against you i'm just saying that it is wrong it is very much wrong a man and a man you know here in jamaica we will say um for there's a little phrase that go around that says two pack cover can't lock and it's a truth Go in your kitchen, get your pot, take off the cover and you have then the pot and then try to cover it, cover it, use two pots cover. I need to demonstrate that in a video. Tell me what you think. You cannot do that because it was not made for it. But as soon as you use the covering on the pot, it just blends. Nothing is sweet like when, you know, a man and a woman married for love and they're just, ah, they just indulge because when you're married, you can indulge. But the fact is, when you are not married, it's not called any sex. It's not called dating, right? It's not called try and, trial and error to know if the person is good in bed or whatever. The Holy Spirit can lead. If some look tired, I'm still come to know. Because this video, man, church leaders, the Bible also states in the book of Isaiah that we own to those who call evil good. I want to make sure I'm going to get for the, cause this, this, that scripture. I have it like back in 2001. I did a, that's, I think that is the first time I preach in church. Um, yeah. in I think it's Isaiah. I'm going to look for it one day and come, but let me just end it here, but I'm going to look for it and come. Cause I don't like to give out false doctrine. Um, I don't believe in it. But I'm going to really search the scriptures. If it's on Isaiah 55, it's Isaiah 45. Um, it speaks a lot about, um, about idols and stuff like that. And um, there, so definitely anyone who knows the scripture, you can drop it there in the, back, in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Remember to like, share, leave a comment. I am coming. All right. I'm coming down there to meet you and to greet. I am Tar. Happy Sabbath. You know, and um, love somebody and don't afraid to correct. Because Second Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 and 17 tells that the Bible is for correct. So you must know that you ought to correct each other in love. But not because you're going to do it in love mean that lo the love mean that you should, you know, partake in it. And you might say, Nisha, so what if my friend is a, you know, is married, a woman married a woman, should I go to that marriage? I would not my opinion, but I will say don't go because you are condoling and you need to say respectfully that I decline because it's not teach that I should support homosexuality act. Homosexuality, it is not of God. It is of the devil. Just like sex out of marriage is not of for God. It's for the devil. The devil, he will obstruct against anything that God teaches on or whatever God put out. Oh, God, Jesus Christ came and he did not touch that homosex. It's okay. So anyone you hear that says it's okay to be a gay, you know, or lesbian, or whatever you call yourself, you're fearfully and wonderfully made in the sight of God. So you're a man. You can't be a woman. No matter how authentic you think that vagina is, it will never operate as it should. You will never have breast milk. You will never see a cycle, whether it's the third, 24, 28 days, 21 days. You will never, if you are a man born and then you want to turn yourself into a woman and you're bleeding, you need to see a doctor ASAP. No doctor can tell you that. I can let you see cycle. If they say they can, take up your stuff and leave. Seek Jesus today. 
St. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. What other things? Read the verse up, come straight down, and that is what Jesus is talking about. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.